In this video, I show you how you can make a multiple audio choice question. Okay, so this is actually in response to a question from Kiki Toron. Uh, Kiki asks, I have seen in Moodle that it's possible to add an MP3 file slash or brackets URL to the question and then when you run the quiz you can play the song and guess the correct answer. This question is actually in response to another tutorial that I did on how to import a GIFT format file as a uh, into your your question slides into Captivate. I'll provide a link to that here so that you can see the context around this. Um, but to answer Kiki's essential question here is that I don't think that Adobe Captivate's version of um, GIFT format would support such a form, um, but I do have another solution here. So I've come up with uh, this idea here where I've got my little music quiz here and we're going to see how much of a music expert you are by asking you which of the following songs is most associated with the musical style known as reggae. And originally my thought was to just simply have four play buttons that triggered audio and I've got four songs that represent different musical styles. But the problem is, is that if you simply trigger audio, uh, by the time you play the second, third, and fourth um, play button, you're going to hear all four audio files overlapping with one another. And of course, you certainly won't be able to dis discern which one is reggae and which one's not. So I added the, I, I thought, well, if we have a stop audio button, that will help quite a bit. That will allow users to stop the audio uh, when they're playing one, they can stop it, then play the second, and so on. But as you can imagine, you play the audio, stop, play audio, stop audio, play audio, stop audio, play audio, stop audio. You know, it's a lot for the users to do. I want it to be as simple for them as possible. Uh, I'm going to keep the stop audio button on the, on the slide, but I'm going to change these play buttons to be advanced actions instead. So let me show you what I did. So the first play button um, executes the advanced action called country. And let me show you what that looks like. So if I click on the advanced action icon next to the script drop down menu, I can see my advanced action. So this one's called country. And the first thing I do is stop triggered audio. This is the same action that's behind the stop audio button that's already on the page. And then it's going to play the country.mp3 file that I've added. And if I do take a look at the, the uh, answer B, I've got a hip hop one. It's the same format. Stop triggered audio, play the hip hop track. And, and C, of course, which uh, as all instructional designers know is the correct answer. Um, we've got the reggae choice. And then the final option is a rock choice as well, and I won't bother showing you that. The one thing to keep in mind, though, is that when you set this up, you're going to want to shrink down the answer section of your multiple choice question slide and obviously have no text there. So this is really small because, unfortunately, this will always be the top object. So even though I've added these smart shapes, which I'm using as buttons, this would overlap, so I want to shrink this down so that people can still click these play buttons and play the audio files. So let's test this out and see how that works. I'm just going to do a preview and we'll do the whole project. It's relatively short. So here we are with our music quiz and then it's going to take us to the first question slide. Um, one of the things I didn't mention here is that um, when, when you have any buttons, like the stop audio button with a single action on it, you're going to want to make sure you uncheck continue playing the project or the users won't be able to have time to answer the multiple choice question. So let's try this. Let's play the track associated with answer A first. So 
So I'm going to hit stop audio in this case. That's clearly not reggae. Let's try answer B. I'm going to try answer D now. We'll see if it stops the previous audio. And it does. And let's try the reggae choice. And here's where the stop audio still becomes useful because, of course, users, okay, now I know the answer. I don't need to continue to listen to a bunch of reggae music. I can simply choose it now and hit submit and see that I got the correct answer. And that's pretty much how that works. It's a great way to enhance your multiple choice questions and give them a little bit more, uh, more interesting things for them to do. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was interesting, useful, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.